if you see my posts on Pinside or uh, Pinball Repair Group 2, I think it is, the one that Jerry runs, you'll know that I am absolutely against the casual pinball enthusiast wholesale replacement of parts on these WPC power driver boards. And this, this board is a great example why. So I'm going to point out some of the things that some well-meaning repairman um, did in the past that is just the wrong way to repair a board. First of all, they wholesale changed out all the 15,000 microfarad caps. This one over here too. All the through holes are torn. So I have to go back and I started a solder stitch or a wire stitch on this one on C30. And I'm going to have to take all those off and replace them. These are the wrong form factor caps. These gigantic things. You can see how they wiggle. This is a terrible connection. They also replaced this one, which has not one darn thing to do with anything power-wise. It's a... Uh, filter cap for the 72 or 70 volt coil power. They neglected to change C4, which is a known contributor to resets, and they didn't change C2, which leaks all the time. It's in a 12 volt section, so it's not a reset issue. So they never did get to the reset problem, but they did make a go of hacking things up on the back side of the board, and they implemented what we have in the pin wiki as step 42 when all else fails and this resistor was placed in series with the output of the lm323k let me see what value resistor that they used for this hack used a 24 ohm 25 ohm resistor so that was the right one if you're gonna if you're going to make that hack but uh I don't recommend this. Uh, it is it is an all, when all else fails kind of problem. So they did they went through all this trouble, implemented the resistor hack, changed out all the caps and bridges, yeah, and they failed to address the primary problem, which is this header for, where the power comes in that eventually forms the five volt. DC. This, I should take this thing off and take another picture of it, but it's, it's a disaster is what it is. So I'm going to take all these caps off again, clean up the through holes, get rid of the jumpers on the back because they won't be necessary once, once I stitch this correctly. I want to make sure that the connection for the GI gets from this lead to here and from this lead to here. And depending on what I see when I put it on the bench, I may or may not leave the 42, the uh, step 42 hack. At least they did sever this trace on the right side of the 323K. All right, I'm going to get down off my soapbox. Everybody have a great weekend.